Last time on Let's Play Pokemon Blue. That's why I gave him Mega Drain. Because Mega Drain is such a good move. Trainer tips, look to the left of that post. But George is in a rage! And now, continuing on. Hello Troops and Toots, Gondor here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Blue. Right. Let's go for a walk along the pier and fight some trainers, shall we? Because as far as I know, this pier also leads to the second Sleeping Snorlax. But the question is, will I be able to catch it? Or will I fail to catch it? Who knows? And I also know that the Super Rod is in this game. I'm very close by it. Somewhere to the north there is the last fishing guru's house. So I'll be paying him a visit. And then once I've done everything that I need to do on the pier areas, I will be heading back to uh, the safari zone because I have actually missed a few things that I could have gotten there. But, well, that's what happens. Right, just one more to go. Meowth. Nope, Georgia, you can take care of all these ones. There we go. Oh, I lost. Do oh, I lost. Your bird Pokemon want to scrap. Well, I've got my bird Pokemon out, so why don't we have another bird Pokemon versus bird Pokemon uh, fight? Drill pick it. Oh, you've only got two Pokemon? A Pidgey and a Pidgeotto. Hmm. Well, I can tell you one thing. These Pokemon will have no chance against Georgia. Because even though she's a normal flying type, she's got a higher level than you. I found Carbos in a cave once. Did you know? That's good to know, I guess. Although I could just go to the Celadon uh, shopping centre and buy some from there. Ah, right, okay, so now we're getting into the aquatic Pokemon now, so I might want to change, because the ones up ahead may use uh, water types. So if that's the case, then Ian will be great for this one. Oh, thanks. I'll just let Georgia take care of all these ones and then I will swap out to Ian after the fight. Just messed up. Ah well. That's a shame. Alright Ian, you're out. Okay, let's see what wonders lie beyond here. Do we have any items or trainers hiding behind this little shrub? Oh, well, we're in a Pokemon fight. Oh, <laughs> wow, a Weeping Bell. And what do I bring out? A Victory Bell. Oh boy. Uh, I don't think Ast is going to do much since it's uh, Grass Poison. Oh, well, it took out quite a lot of its health, and its stun sport didn't affect. Ha ha ha! Easy. Alright, I was kind of hoping not to get into a Pokemon fight because now I need to recut this shrub, but, well, what can you do? Yes, I found a Moonstone, I f in fact I found quite a lot of them during my adventure actually. And they're all stuck in my PC, because I don't think I'll ever use them. 
In fact, you know what? If I'm never going to use them, then I might as well just sell them. But, you never know. Poison Sting? Yeah, that's not going to do much. Because Ian is half poison. Critical hit with leaves. Awesome. A needle we know. Yeah, we'll change. We'll bring out Daniel for this one. And we shall swift it. Oh, he's hanging on. Another swift. We'll easily take it down. Ow. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, there's an item and a trainer. Hmm. Now, by the looks of that trainer sprite, I'm guessing he will be a fisherman because he said the word catch. Yep, I thought so. He's a fisherman. Magic cat. Oh boy. Alright, Ian. You know what to do. Uh, I tell you, how the hell could a useless Pokemon like Magikarp end up turning into something so awesome? Hmm, maybe that's a sign. Maybe Game Freak are trying to say, pick the most useless Pokemon you have because they will turn into something awesome and incredible. Well, you never know. That might actually be the case. Lost it. Oh well. Anyway, this is an iron. Well, if I can't pick up anything else, then I might have to use it. Aha! Here is the house where the last fishing guru is. You love fishing. As always, say yes, and you will get the last fishing rod of the game. The Super Rod. That is awesome. Electricity is my specialty. You must be a rocker then. Yep. Voltar. Hmm, don't know how this is going to work, but Razor Leaf it. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Electrode. Uh, yeah, we'll change. We'll bring out Daniel for this one. Anyway, Electrode is the evolved version of Voltorb. It's just gro slightly grown in size and has gained a mouth. Well done, Daniel. Unplugged. Oh well. Maybe you should just stick to your day job as being a rocker. Okay, now here is the other sleeping Snorlax. Now as you can see, there is literally no way to get by it even from here. So, I'm going to save the game here before I attempt to fight this thing. I'll try and catch it, but... Um, I can't make any promises. Oh good, I still got the poker float. There we go. And this will be the last time that I'll ever need the poker float actually, so I can put it away. Alright, let's see. Let's sleep powder if I can. But, like I said, I'm not really bothered if I don't catch it or not. Right, that's about a quarter of itself down already. Hmm. 
Right. Let's try catching it now. Oh. I only have one Pokeball. I don't think I'm going to be able to catch it. Nope. And it's still asleep too. Ugh. Let's have a look. Do I actually have anything else? Nope. Oh well, that's a shame. Looks like I'm going to have to knock it out. That's such a shame. But, then again, to be honest, I am quite glad I'm knocking it out because now I can get to show you what happens if you do knock out one of the two Snorlaxes. Snorlax come down. With a big yawn, it returned to the mountains. And I don't think there's any way to actually find it again, so if you knock out the two Snorlaxes, I don't think there's any way to get them. You'd rather be working. As what, a fisherman? Yes, you are. A polywag? Hmm, I wonder if I'll come across any sailors here. Eh, who knows? We, we might even come across Popeye. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. Boop, boop. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm strong to the finish, cause I eat me spinach. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. I'm one tough gazookas, what hates a palookas, what ain't on the ups and square. I piffs em and buffs em and always out roughs em and none of em gets nowhere. If anyone dares is to risk my fisk, it's buff and it's wham on her stand. So keep good behavior, it's your one lifesaver. I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. <laughs> but we are not fighting sailors, we are fighting fishermen. Nope. Ian, you can take care of this. It's not easy. No, it's not. Okie dokie, right, you know what? I think I'm gonna stop the video here, and in the next video, we shall continue fighting these fishermen and see what lies north beyond this pier area. So I shall see you guys then. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon. Blue. North to Lavender. Okay, so this leads to Lavender Town. Oh, I can't just can. Oh, now that's a Dratini.